Welcome. What I want to do today is take this set of ordered pairs, determine what the domain and range are, and then also determine if it's a function or not. So remember, when dealing with ordered pairs, we have to remember we have an x and a y coordinate. So you can see my x coordinates of each one of these ordered pairs are 1, 3, 5, negative 3, and 1. So remember, the domain relates to your x coordinates, which is also what we call our input value. So our domain is going to be 1, 3, 5, negative 3, and 1. Now, I don't need to write 1 again, since it's already redundant. But now I need to take a look at my range. So my range is, uh, let's see, I have negative 7. 8, 14, 0, and 2. All right? So what we need to do is when looking at my domain and range, does, well, actually, it might be helpful actually to write in the extra version of this so I can explain it a little bit better. So let's write one since it happens twice. Um, now, what I want to do, so that's my domain and range. Domain is all your x values, range is all your y values, or all your input and all your output. So now to determine if it's a function, Every element in my domain has to correspond to exactly one element in the range. So we look at this, and we say 1 corresponds to negative 7. Is that the only element that 1 corresponds to? No. 1 also corresponds to 2. So right off the bat, we don't have a function. But you can see that 3 corresponds to 8, 5 corresponds to 14, and negative, correspond, or negative 3 corresponds to 0. They don't correspond to any other numbers. However, since 1 corresponds to negative 7 and 1 corresponds to 2, we do not have a function. So there you go. This is just a relation, not a function. Have any other questions, comment below. Thanks.